The moment it happens, two cells become one. A miracle begins. And somewhere deep inside you, life starts its most extraordinary transformation. I'm here to take you through the first eight weeks of pregnancy. Eight incredible weeks where your baby grows from smaller than a grain of sand to the size of a raspberry. But here's what most people don't tell you. These aren't just any eight weeks. These are the foundation weeks, the blueprint weeks, the weeks that will determine everything. Whether you just got that positive test, you're trying to conceive, or you're supporting someone on this journey. What happens in these first eight weeks matters more than you might imagine. So let's dive deep into the most fascinating, challenging, and beautiful beginning of human life. Are you ready to discover what's really happening inside your body right now? Here's something that will blow your mind. In weeks one and two, you're not actually pregnant yet. The medical world counts pregnancy from your last menstrual period, not from conception. So while your body is preparing, while your hormones are shifting, while that perfect egg is getting ready for its starring role, technically, the show hasn't started yet. But don't underestimate these preparation weeks. Your body is orchestrating one of nature's most complex processes. Your uterine lining is thickening. Think of it as rolling out the red carpet for your future baby. Every cell, every blood vessel is preparing for the most important guest it will ever host. Your nutrition matters now. Even before conception, what you eat becomes the building blocks of your baby's first cells. Folic acid isn't just important, it's crucial. 400 to 800 micrograms daily. Start now, not later. The foods to embrace, dark leafy greens, citrus fruits, fortified cereals, beans, and asparagus. These aren't just foods, they're your baby's first protection against birth defects. What to avoid? Alcohol, smoking, and high mercury fish. Your future baby's neural tube will form in just a few weeks, and these substances can cause irreversible damage. Your belly remains your regular size, but your body is already changing at the cellular level. There is no baby yet, but your body is creating the perfect environment for miracle number one. Week three. This is it. The week that changes everything. Somewhere around day 14 of your cycle, if everything aligns perfectly, sperm meets egg. Not just any meeting, the most consequential meeting in human biology. Out of 200 to 300 million sperm, only one makes it. Only one gets to start the journey of your child. Within hours, that fertilized egg, now called a zygote, begins dividing. One cell becomes two. Two becomes four. Four becomes eight. It's happening so fast your body doesn't even know it's pregnant yet. Your baby is smaller than the period at the end of this sentence. But already gender is determined. Eye color is set. Height potential is coded. Everything that will make your child unique is already there, written in microscopic DNA. What you might feel? Absolutely nothing. Or maybe everything. Some women report a strange intuition, a subtle knowing. Science can't explain it, but mothers often can. Keep taking that folic acid. Add vitamin D, 600 IU daily. Your baby cells are dividing so rapidly they need every nutrient available. Your belly remains unchanged, but inside, the most important construction project of your life has begun. Your baby is smaller than a pinhead, but containing all the genetic information to become a complete human being. Week 4. The secret is out. Well maybe. Your missed period is your first clue, but your body has been keeping this secret for a week already. That tiny cluster of cells, now called a blastocyst, has traveled down your fallopian tube and is preparing for the most important attachment of its life. Implantation happens, usually between days 6 to 12 after conception. Your future baby literally embeds itself into your uterine wall. Some women feel light cramping. Some notice spotting. Most feel nothing at all. But here's the miracle. The moment implantation occurs, your baby starts sending signals to your body. I'm here. It whispers through hormones. Take care of us. Your hormone levels skyrocket. HCG human chorionic gonadotropin floods your system. This is what pregnancy tests detect. This is what makes you feel different. What you might experience, tender breasts, mild cramping, unusual fatigue, or that metallic taste in your mouth that seems to come from nowhere. Nutrition becomes critical. Your baby is about to start forming its neural tube, 
the foundation of the brain and spinal cord. Folic acid isn't optional anymore. Neither is avoiding alcohol completely. Foods to embrace. Whole grains, lean proteins, colorful vegetables. Think of every meal as building blocks for your baby's developing organs. Foods to avoid completely. Raw fish, unpasteurized cheeses, deli meats, and anything with alcohol. Your baby's organs are forming, and toxins can cause permanent damage. Your belly is still your normal size, but you might notice subtle bloating. Your baby is about the size of a poppy seed, but already making its presence known throughout your entire body. This week changes everything. Again, your baby's neural tube begins forming. This isn't just development. This is the foundation of consciousness, movement, sensation. Everything that will make your child able to think, feel, and experience the world starts forming this week. The heart begins to beat. Not a fully formed heart yet, but cardiac tissue that pulses with the rhythm of life. 100 to 160 beats per minute. Faster than yours, more urgent, as if it knows it has so much growing to do. Morning sickness might hit. That wave of nausea that comes from nowhere? It's actually a good sign. Higher HCG levels often mean a stronger, healthier pregnancy. Your body is working overtime to support two lives now. Your energy crashes. You might feel like you could sleep for a week. This isn't laziness. This is your body redirecting every available resource to support the most rapid period of human development. Nutrition becomes your superpower. Iron-rich foods like lean red meat, spinach, and lentils. Your blood volume is about to increase by 50%. Calcium from dairy, almonds, and leafy greens. Your baby's bones are about to start forming. What to avoid? High mercury fish like shark, king mackerel, and tilefish. Raw sprouts which can harbor dangerous bacteria. Soft cheeses like brie and feta, unless pasteurized. Prenatal vitamins aren't just recommended, they're essential. Look for ones with at least 400 micrograms of folic acid, 27 milligrams of iron, and 600 IU of vitamin D. Your belly might feel fuller, more tender. Your uterus is starting to expand, even though it's not visible yet. Your baby is about the size of a sesame seed, but with a beating heart and the beginnings of a brain. Your baby is becoming more baby-like every single day. Facial features begin forming. Dark spots where eyes will be. Tiny depressions where ears will develop. The beginning of a nose, mouth, and jaw. Your baby is starting to look less like a cluster of cells and more like, well, your baby. Limb buds appear. Tiny bumps that will become arms and legs. No fingers or toes yet, but the framework is there. In just a few weeks, those little bumps will be waving and kicking. The digestive system starts developing. Your baby is preparing for life outside the womb. Even though birth is still more than seven months away, your symptoms intensify. Nausea might be stronger. Breast tenderness might increase. You might find yourself crying at commercials or feeling overwhelmed by smells. This isn't you being dramatic. This is your hormones doing exactly what they're supposed to do. Protein becomes crucial. Your baby's cells are multiplying at an incredible rate, and protein provides the building blocks. Aim for 75 to 100 grams daily from sources like eggs, lean meat, beans, and nuts. Hydration matters more than ever. Your blood volume is expanding. Dehydration can worsen morning sickness and cause fatigue. Aim for 8 to 10 glasses of water daily. Foods that might help with nausea. Ginger tea, small frequent meals, crackers, and anything with vitamin B6 like bananas and potatoes. What to completely avoid? Hot tubs and saunas. High temperatures can cause birth defects. Raw or undercooked eggs due to salmonella risk. Excessive caffeine. Limit to 200 milligrams daily, about one cup of coffee. Your belly is still not showing, but you might need to unbutton your jeans after meals. Your uterus is starting to expand beyond your pelvis. Your baby is about the size of a lentil, with facial features beginning to form and a heart beating strong. The development happening this week is nothing short of miraculous. Your baby's brain is growing rapidly. 100,000 brain cells are forming every minute. Every minute. Think about that. While you're listening to this, brushing your teeth, or trying not to throw up from morning sickness, your baby's brain is literally building itself at lightning speed. Arms and legs are lengthening. What were tiny buds last week are now recognizable as limbs. 
Elbows are forming. The foundation for knees is being laid. Your baby is starting to look more human and less like a tiny shrimp. The umbilical cord is developing. This incredible lifeline that will nourish your baby for the next seven months is becoming more sophisticated every day. It's not just a cord, it's a complex delivery system for nutrients, oxygen, and waste removal. Your morning sickness might peak. This is often the worst week for nausea and vomiting. But remember, this intensity usually means your hormones are exactly where they should be for a healthy pregnancy. Food aversions hit hard. That coffee you used to love might make you gag. Your favorite perfume? Suddenly overwhelming. Your body is protecting your baby by making potentially harmful substances repulsive to you. Nutrition becomes challenging but crucial. Small, frequent meals work better than three large ones. Bland foods like toast, rice, and bananas might be your best friends. Don't worry if you can't eat much. Your baby is tiny and doesn't need many calories yet. Prenatal vitamins might be hard to keep down. Try taking them with food, switching to a different brand, or asking your doctor about alternatives. The nutrients are too important to skip. Safe morning sickness remedies, ginger supplements or tea, vitamin B6 supplements, acupressure wristbands, and small sips of flat ginger ale. Your belly might look slightly fuller, especially if this isn't your first pregnancy. Your waistband might feel snug even though others can't tell yet. Your baby is about the size of a blueberry, with arms, legs, and a rapidly developing brain. This week, your baby graduates from embryo to fetus. This isn't just a name change. It's a recognition that all major organs and body systems are now present. Fingers and toes begin forming. They're still webbed, but the individual digits are becoming distinct. Your baby is developing the hands that will one day hold yours and the feet that will take their first steps. The heart has four chambers now. It's not just beating, it's pumping blood through a circulatory system that's becoming more complex every day. Your baby's heart rate is between 140 to 170 beats per minute, almost twice as fast as yours. Taste buds are forming. Your baby can't taste yet, but the groundwork is being laid for all those future preferences. Will they love spicy food like you? Hate vegetables? The foundation is forming now. Your uterus has doubled in size. Even though you can't see it yet, your uterus has grown from the size of a pear to about the size of a grapefruit. No wonder you feel different. The most dangerous period is ending. About 80% of miscarriages occur in the first trimester, and the risk drops significantly after week 8. While it's never zero, you can start to breathe a little easier. Your belly might have a subtle roundness, especially noticeable to you even if others can't see it yet. You might be ready to start thinking about maternity clothes. Your baby is about the size of a raspberry, with fingers, toes, and all major organs developing rapidly. Let's talk about the nutritional foundation that supports this incredible development. Folic acid is non-negotiable. It prevents neural tube defects like spina bifida. You need 400 to 800 micrograms daily from fortified cereals, leafy greens, citrus fruits, and beans. Iron builds your baby's blood supply. Your blood volume increases by 50% during pregnancy. Aim for 27 milligrams daily from lean red meat, poultry, fish, beans, and fortified cereals. Calcium builds strong bones. Your baby's skeleton is forming and hardening. You need 1,000 milligrams daily from dairy products, leafy greens, fortified foods, and almonds. Omega-3 fatty acids are critical for brain development. Aim for 200 to 300 milligrams of DHA daily from salmon, sardines, walnuts, flax seeds, and chia seeds. Protein supports rapid cell growth. You need 75 to 100 grams daily. That's 25 to 30 grams more than before pregnancy. Get it from lean meats, eggs, dairy, beans, nuts, and quinoa. These aren't suggestions. They're necessities for your baby's safety. Avoid all raw or undercooked foods. Raw fish, raw eggs, raw meat, and raw sprouts. The risk of salmonella, E. coli, and toxoplasmosis is too great. Stay away from high mercury fish shark, king mackerel, tilefish, and big-eye tuna. Limit albacore tuna to 6 ounces per week. Mercury can damage your baby's developing nervous system. Skip unpasteurized products. Soft cheeses and unpasteurized milk or juice. The risk of listeria can cause miscarriage. No alcohol. 
No amount is considered safe during pregnancy. It can cause fetal alcohol spectrum disorders. Limit caffeine to 200 mg daily, about 1 12-ounce cup of coffee. Remember that chocolate, tea, and soda also contain caffeine. Most pregnancy symptoms are normal, but some require immediate attention. Call immediately for heavy bleeding, severe abdominal pain, severe vomiting that prevents keeping fluids down, high fever over 101 degrees, or severe headaches with vision changes. Call within 24 hours for persistent vomiting, signs of dehydration, unusual vaginal discharge, burning during urination, or severe mood changes. Normal symptoms worth mentioning include light spotting, mild cramping, morning sickness, fatigue, and breast tenderness. These first eight weeks are the blueprint for everything that follows. From that first cell division to a tiny human with fingers, toes, and a beating heart, you've witnessed one of nature's most incredible transformations. Your body has created the foundation for life, protected and nourished your growing baby, and adapted to support two lives instead of one. What you've accomplished in just eight weeks. Your baby's major organs are formed and functioning, a heart that beats 140 to 170 times per minute, arms and legs with developing fingers and toes, a brain that's growing at lightning speed, and the foundation for everything your child will become. Remember these truths. Every pregnancy is unique. Your body knows what it's doing even when you feel unsure. The discomfort you're experiencing serves a purpose. You're stronger than you think, and the hardest part of early pregnancy is behind you. You've made it through the most critical developmental phase. Your baby's major organs are formed. The risk of miscarriage has significantly decreased, and you're about to enter what many consider the golden period of pregnancy. The foundation is built. The adventure continues. The best is yet to come. Remember, this information is for educational purposes only and should not replace professional medical advice. Always consult with your healthcare provider about your specific situation and any concerns you may have during pregnancy.